It was a different world for us, a different culture, different people. Call it culture shock mixed with intense relief. Mohammed Manuri and his wife Nargis landed at Newark Airport with their young son Noman four years ago. Mohammed had worked for Americans in a highly coveted job at the Kabul water treatment plant, but decided to leave after getting injured by a suicide bomber. So I decided to move, at least if not for me, for my wife and my son. I waited like three years for the process, you know, to get my visa. He got a special immigrant visa, one of just 34,500 issued by the U.S. since 2014, mostly for Afghans and Iraqis who worked with Americans. After a 43-hour trip from Kabul, the family found themselves in New Jersey, completely dependent upon nonprofit groups for everything. Nargis, a college-educated teacher who was two months pregnant, felt utterly lost. When we came here, I don't know any English and I don't have any friend and uh, my family is not here. There was a time, I, I remember, I got very hopeless. I said, well, I can't, I can't find a job. Um, I was almost crying. It took the family months of effort, during which their daughter Nita was born. Eventually, Mohammed and Nargis both got driver's licenses. They got jobs. But like many in New Jersey, they kept searching for an affordable place to live. Housing, that's the biggest thing. We struggle with the housing since they weren't uh, ready for that. They couldn't find a house at the beginning. These folks are coming into areas that um, are, uh, have been gentrified in, in places such as um, Morris County. Uh, so you have a competition where the, the housing market is dwindling. Mark Bramba volunteers with RAMP, Refugee Assistance Morris Partners, which has helped support five families as they resettled in New Jersey, including the Meneeries. RAMP's working to sponsor one of at least 500 Afghans, who Governor Murphy says will find permanent homes here. They're all currently staying with more than 9,000 refugees at Joint Base mcguire dix Lakehurst. But resettlement's an expensive process, and how Housing's even harder to find since Ida left so many homeless. In fact, Elizabeth's mayor has refused to accept Afghan refugees because too many local residents still need placement after flooding damaged hundreds of apartments. Folks want to move to some of these desirable uh, spots that have good transportation. You need to have transportation to get to a job. Muhammad and his family had to move four times before finally renting this duplex in Boonton. The family needs two cars to get to work, but finally, after four years... When you have your family, which I have, when you have a good job, I got a good job. I said, it's my home. <laughs> Now their kids zip around on bikes in the driveway. The family enjoys going out for pizza, but the Muneeris know more Afghans back in Kabul who were desperate to leave. My mother is like two, three weeks, I always cry. The situation was very bad because they are scared. There are already people stuck there with visas. So right now, it's, it, I, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's going to be a really long and difficult uh, process. They also know a long and stressful resettlement awaits the Afghans at New Jersey's Joint Base. They're hoping to volunteer along with RAMP, the same folks who welcome them to their new home. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.